there are two big gaps when it comes to distributed team productivity. The first gap is work that, we're, that benefits from social energy. So think of like a hard job, you're in a boiler room, cold calling, you get energy from everyone else there. I think that is worse. The second area is work that requires collaboration, bouncing ideas, fast food feedback loops, whiteboarding, that stuff also suffers. Um, you've probably been in a situation, you're sitting in an office together, you hear a big sigh, uh, and you're like, oh, okay, someone's stuck. And you go and say, hey, what's up? You have a five minute whiteboard situation, you, you make progress on the problem, and then they're unblocked. You can't do that remote. You're not going to hear that sigh. So we need to build in other practices. We've had 20 years of practicing, 20 plus years of practicing technology and habits that make co-located work. So we got to give distributed work a little bit of time. We have to practice some things. So instead of that big sigh that we're going to hear, we need to have check-ins, cadences. Daily stand-up is a really common one. Uh, there's lots of ways to do this. But let's say you have a daily stand-up. Um, as a manager or as a team leader that's trying to unblock people, we're going to listen for emotion. So emotion could be like sad or it could be a strange lack of emotion sometimes as a trigger. And we're also going to li listen for vagueness. Uh, we want to set a uh, an example that if someone comes with a very vague piece of work, that doesn't give you enough to know if they're stuck. So we're going to ask clarifying questions after stand up. We're going to have one on one conversations. The next thing we want to do is we need to train everyone in the tools to reduce friction. That whiteboard meeting we had in the co-located world, that was pretty low friction. We can create the same thing virtually, but we got to practice. You just don't come magically knowing how to use Miro, which is a whiteboarding tool. We don't magically know how to do slash Zoom and Slack to instantly start a Zoom. We got to practice that, make it easy so that after that stand up, we can just hop into a whiteboard session, takes five minutes versus that like, oh, I got to start up Miro. I can't remember how to do that. Uh, I'll just talk to him tomorrow. That friction is really important. Hashtag digital workplace day.